So this is a headboard assembly. Um, our headboard assembly, as you can see, we've got piles on your uh, behind you and in front of you on this side of the trailer. Okay, so let's build beds, right? We've, we've got the name and it seems simple at, at first thought, but it's actually a little bit deeper. What is Let's Build Beds? So Let's Build Beds is a 501c3 organization that is 100% volunteer run that builds beds and gives them away to kids in the community. Awesome, and who are you? I'm Mike, I'm one of the directors. Did you actually found this organization? Uh, me, my wife, Shauna, and uh, my friend Dan. We founded this back in 2020. So what in your mind was like, when you go back to the very beginning, what passion inside of you to say, hey, let's build kids' beds? My wife, Shauna, is a school teacher. One of the things when we got married that was a challenge for us was I was a big church giver and she would give directly to the students. This was a way for us to kind of come together, an opportunity for me to utilize my engineering and my passion for building stuff and to help kids directly. We kind of feel that God, you know, called us to move in this direction and, and basically partner and, and do something for the kids in the community. Why did you decide to do beds in particular for kids? Beds are a need that a lot of kids that are in poverty have that folks aren't thinking about. If you go into a school or a doctor's office, they're going to ask about food scarcity, but they're not looking at the whole living condition. So for us, I mean, we recognize that there's lots of families that are living with maybe a folding table and a couple of chairs, you know, for dining at. So having a bed for that child, though, is it's a safe place for them, and it's, it's so important for them for their studies. A lot of us maybe can take for granted, like, oh, we've got food, we've got water, we've got all these things, but a bed is more than just somewhere to sleep. It's a comfort place, it's emotional security, it's overall wellness. What are their responses when they see their beds? The children, especially, are very excited. Most of the time, they are leaning out windows or standing on the front porch. They typically run out to the truck to help us start carrying the pieces in, and then they're even more excited when we get to the chance for them to use the tools. The building process specifically is either organizations or businesses from the community uh, reaching out to us and wanting to partner. It can be a community, uh, you know, open to the public build, but they typically work on coming up with sponsor or donation uh, funds to pay for a certain number of builds. Once the beds are paid for, then it's just a matter of organizing the volunteers and inviting all those people in to come in and uh, do the build. For you, uh, with, with building the beds, what is the, is there a gratification or is that a feeling that you get? What's your why for keeping going? The why for me actually is a result of a recovery process. I actually went through a 12-step process um, at my church. I struggled with depression and just mental health struggles. At the end of a 12-step process, the 12th step is basically now that you recognize the problem, what are you going to do not to fall back into that behavior? By working with this charity and focusing outward on other people and helping other people, not only do I, I get the joy of you know, from that experience, but I, I don't really worry about myself because I see how much more others are struggling. And so, of course, the name of this show is Be Well. And so I asked that question to you. What does it mean to you, my Corvette, to be well? Or focusing outward, focusing on other people. I am most well when I'm helping other people, when I'm listening to their struggles, um, empathizing with them, and, and letting them know that there are people that love them and care about them. So for me, that's, that's when I personally am most well. And I think that they are healing when, when that experience is going on. So when volunteers come to our builds and, and they're able to kind of participate and, and give a little bit of their self to help these kids, I, I think that everybody gets a little bit of healing, a little bit of positive, I guess, inspiration in their life that uh, will help them to be well.